Welcome to the Team Build Tutorial Series. I'm Kevin Weldon, and this training tutorial is going to be what it takes to become a pace setter. How do I make pace setter? All right, guys, in the pace setter scenario, you need to have made a purchase. That's always going to be the, the, the requirement for earning income in the TrueNighted platform is that we have to make purchases. We've got to redirect our spending through the TrueNighted platform and, and get points each month, you know, for the things that we're purchasing. So once you've made a purchase, that is the first step in qualifying. Now the pay setter structure looks like this drawing I have up here in the top left, right here. As long as you have this in your organization, you'll become a pay setter. You need at least three people on your level one. We've got one, two, three, who have all made purchases. This guy here, your number one guy, he needs to have at least two people. He's got one here and he's got two here. This guy's got one here and he's got two here. This guy's got one here and he's got two here. And these guys here all need to have at least one. So this guy here, he's got one. This guy here, he's got one. This guy's got one. This guy's got one. This guy's got one. And this guy's got one. It doesn't matter how many more of these that you have on any of your levels here. It doesn't matter. As long as you've got that basic structure that have made purchases. So we're going to color these in to show that they've made a purchase. You've made a purchase. Your first guy that you brought in has made a purchase. Your second guy that you brought in has made a purchase. And your, your guy over here, he's made a purchase. Okay. Now this guy here, he's got two that have made purchases. We're going to color them in. This guy's got at least two that's made purchases right here. This guy's got at least two that have made purchases right here. See that? Okay, now of these, this guy's at least got one that's made a purchase here. This guy's got one that's made a purchase here, and so on. This guy's got one, this guy's got one, this guy's got one, his one here, and this guy's got his one here. Now you can have all these others up here that haven't made purchases, but you've got to at least have this structure here, three on your level one. Um, this, each of these three have to have at least two, and, it, and, and these guys here have to have at least one. Okay, so we're going to take you down here and show you uh, what this looks like on your uh, on your tree view in your in your true dashboard. So we've logged into our website and we found um, someone who's made uh, made pace setter. Uh, that would be this here and this uh, this color here, this teal green, signifies the pace setter position. You're also going to see one over here, and I'll explain how this benefits this guy here. Um, but this uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to find uh, his three on his level one that have made purchases that have two underneath them and each of those have one. So let me turn off my little pen and we're going to scroll down. Uh, and we're actually with uh, with uh, Tim here. We're going to scroll down and look at Tim's organization. He's got a pretty big organization. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to look for his first uh, qualifier. And it looks like it's going to be this guy here. So remember, he needs three who have two who have one. So in this leg here, here's, his, here's one of his three, and this one's got at least two on his level one. See these guys here? And this guy here's got one that's made a purchase, and this guy here's got one that's made a purchase. So that makes one-third of what we're looking for in the structure. That would be this right here, okay? You follow me, guys? He's got that. There's one of them. Now let's go and see if we can find another one. Uh, let's see here. Turn my little pen off. So actually, let's put uh, this is this is one. We've got that. That's one. Now we need to find another structure uh, that um, that's got one that has two that has one. So let's go find his second qualifier. We're going to scroll back this way here, and we are going to see we're going to see another pace setter here. So that right there will tell you that. Um, that he's got two that have one. So this would be his second guy right here. And that one has got one right here that's got one underneath him. And he needs this one needs one more. So let's find the other one. All the way down here we go. See this is connected to that one. So gonna have lots of squiggly marks here. We got this guy and sure enough, he's got at least one. So now we're two thirds of the way there. You guys follow me? Two thirds of the way there. So now we've got this one done 
and I'm going to erase these pin marks because it's getting really ugly right now, but we're going to find one more of these structures here that's, that's underneath Tim. So let me clear the pin marks out of the way. And we're, we're going to scroll down. That was, this was number two, his second person that had, uh, that had done it. And now we're going to find one more down here that's connected to Tim. Remember he needs one more that has um, two that has one. So we're going to go keep doing these still. We're still in his organization. I can still follow the lines here. Okay. Here we go right here. He's got another pay setter. So there you go. Uh, we know that uh, we know that this is going to be the third guy here. So this will be his third that has two that has one. So here's one of them that's got one. And we need to find one more for this guy here. Let's scroll down here and see if we can find the other one. Okay, here it is right here. Didn't have to go very far. This guy here has got at least one. So there we go. So that qualifies Tim as a pay setter. All right, so what does it mean when you have other pay setters on your team? It's even better, guys. Remember, when you make pay setter, that's when you have three who have two who have one. We did this already. Remember, you got this structure here. And these guys at least have one. Okay, we showed you that structure. Okay, and the beautiful part about our compensation plan is as you help your guys become pay setters, then you get to go down and collect on another level. Now, again, once you make pay setter, that's when you're going to want to pay the $99 annual membership fee because that will allow you to start matching points below level two. Remember, we showed you the tutorial on how to make a promoter, and promoters get paid on two levels. Well, this is the pay setter. This is when you're going to want to pay the 99. This is when you're proving that this works and you're making money, and now you get to collect on three levels once you become a pay setter. But since Tim has built other pay setters direct to him, he's going to get to pick up on more levels. Okay, Right now, he's going to get paid on everybody on his level one, everybody on his level two, and everybody on his level three. But as we, as we showed you, uh, one of his guys has also made pay setter, and that's this one right here. So when that happens, he's going to get to pick up on level four now, okay? And as you saw here just a minute ago, he had another – well, let me turn my pen off. Let's scroll, scroll on back down here. He's got a pretty good team going, been working hard. So here's Tim again. So here's another pay setter that he's, that he's uh, helped build – on his team. So um, because he's got two pay setters now in different legs, he's actually going to get to match points all the way down to level five. You guys follow me? So every time you create a new pay setter in a different leg, you're going to get to pick up another level. So he just happened to get pay setters that were both here. But what happens if you get another pay setter? Does that get you another level? No, it doesn't because he's already got somebody in this leg here. Now, this leg here, um, doesn't have any pay setters yet, but what happens if, uh, see now Tim's getting paid down on level five, okay, because he's got two pay setters. When you make pay setter, you get level three. When you build a pay setter, you get level four. When you build a separate leg with a pay setter, you get level five. So now, does this guy here have to make pay setter for him to get paid on level six? No. It could be anybody in these places here, anybody. It could be these guys here that make it, these guys here that make it. It could be this guy here that makes it. It could even be this guy down here that makes pay setter, you know, with the three, two, one structure. If he does that, then Tim now gets to match points all the way down on level six. Okay. So again, it has to be a pay setter leg. It doesn't have to be connected to you. It could be anybody in here that makes it, anybody in here that makes it, or anybody in here that makes it. But as you get down uh, and you're picking up additional levels, five, six, it could be anybody down in these areas here that make it for your third one, okay? I hope that didn't make uh, didn't confuse you guys. Let me clear my pen marks out of the way. Clear these drawings. Okay, so again, Tim made pay setter because he got at least three on level one who had at least two here who at least had one, okay? But now when he helps this person make pay setter, now he gets to go down and, and match points on level four. And because he helped the other person get there, who's also uh, in a different leg over here, 
let's get back down here again. And I'll show you this guy here is still connected to Tim because he helped this one get it right there. He helped this one get it. Now he gets to get paid down point match on level five. And again, these guys here that are just seeds, they haven't made a purchase, so there's no points there. But Tim is going to get to match all the points that he has on his level one. All these, he's going to get all these on, on his level two that have points, all these on his level three that have points, all these on his level four that have points, and all these on his level five that have points. You guys follow me? So that's what uh, that's how you make pay setter, and that's how you can start to earn uh, on deeper levels. Now, once you do that, and you want to start matching on level six, level seven, levels eight, levels nine, all the way down to level uh, level fifteen, simply all you have to do is help a new leg develop a pay setter. Okay, I'll clear these out of the way, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So Tim's got several people direct to him on his level one that haven't done anything yet. So this guy here could get to work and, and build a pay setter somewhere and that, that would help him get another level. Uh, let's go find somebody else that hasn't done anything yet. This guy here could get to work and he could start building a team. And when he hit one that made pay setter, then that would, uh, that would get Tim down another level. Um, we can come down here to this guy here, same thing. This guy here could get to work and he could start bringing in people. And anybody in, in all below him could help Tim get another leg. Same thing for this guy here. Same thing for any of these guys down here. If any of these make it, these are all attached to Tim. If any of these get to work and start building people down below him, once they build the pace setter in their leg, he's going to get to go down another level. That's how you can get down to levels 15 is simply helping uh, people that you brought in, anybody in their team, uh, reach the pace setter position. So hopefully that helps you guys understand what it takes to become a pace setter. Again, to recap, you come in, make a purchase, you bring at least three people in who've made purchases, okay? You help these guys bring at least two in, and you help these guys bring in at least one that's made a purchase. Okay, so you're going to have three on your level one, you're going to have six who've made purchases on your level two, and you're going to have six who've made purchases on your level three. So as you guys can see, you can actually become a pay setter with 12, 13, 14, 15, with 15 total people, okay, if you structure it right. And we'll help you structure. So as we, as we got in early, we just went in and, and did like this. We brought a bunch of people and we sent out our links and we just let people sign up. We don't do that now. We actually create the accounts. Um, for our connections, and we place them uh, in a in a strategic uh, alignment. So instead of going out and getting 15 people across your your front line, you can actually structure it where you could actually give people away if you chose to do so. That's why we have the give to grow philosophy here. Is you can actually give connections away, and it doesn't hurt you because you know once you make pay setter, you're getting paid on all these right here on levels on levels one, two, and three anyway, right? And by placing people underneath somebody else, you're helping them because they can match the points. And then, of course, once you make pay setter and you're getting all three levels, you could actually place somebody down here and help this guy, you know, qualify. And you could put him here, and then this guy could match the points. And then this guy, if he was at least a pay setter or a promoter, he could match them. And then if you're, you know, a, a pay setter, you can match all. So, anyway, hopefully that will help you guys understand how to make pay setter. Um, I know I, I kind of got off the track a little bit, but you guys know me. Um, hopefully that, uh, that example helped you. And you know that, that uh, bringing in three on your level one and helping those guys um, bring in two and helping each of their two bring in one makes you a pace setter. But remember, you've got to make purchases. You can't look like this. You've got to look like this. Okay? At least one point will open these seeds up. If these guys would just purchase one can of Vingo or one bag of Skittles, you know, or one, you know, pack of batteries, you know, or some healthy Vita, anything, one point, one gift card to, uh, to Buffalo Wild Wings or Starbucks or Chili's, any purchase with just one point will open them up and, and make them look like this. So again, that is uh, how to make a, a, a pace setter. And that is the key to this compensation plan. So we'll see you guys on our next tutorial. Again, I'm Kevin Weldon for the Team Build Tutorial Series. You guys have a great rest of your day.